Today I'm going to show you how to get started using Microsoft Sway to create professional, beautiful looking presentations and reports in no time. Let's jump in. Now there's a couple of different ways to access Sway. You can either use the desktop app or use the web interface. Now you will need a Microsoft Office account, but you can use the free account to be able to access this. So if you just navigate to Microsoft365.com on your computer, or you can use the link in the description to be able to access it that way. And then you can either sign into your account or create a free account. We go up to products, we're gonna to go to see all apps and services, and you can either search for it or just go down to the S and you'll see Sway here, and it'll access the web interface. Or if you have Microsoft Office installed on your computer, you can download the app and access it that way, which is what we're gonna be doing today. And so to get started, you can do a couple of different things. You can create new from scratch. You can start with a topic where it'll access things like, like Wikipedia to be able to help craft your presentation. Or you can start from a document. If you already have a Word doc or PowerPoint or PDF or something like that, you can start from there. What we're gonna do is we're gonna create from a template. So we're gonna start with a, a existing presentation that they have as a template and then update some of our information in there. So then you have a section here where you have a couple of different templates that you can do. You could also start with inspiration. So they have some existing presentations that you could pull from and see what you want to do. But we're going to go up to the templates. We're going to look at some options. They have portfolios. They have a student report, resume, blogs, all kinds of fun stuff in here. But what we're going to do is we're going to do this vacation story. So we're going to click on that and it's gonna open it up and you can kind of go through and preview what it looks like here. And then you click on start editing and it's gonna prepare this for you and here you go. And so now you can start editing, adding, taking away and customizing this to what you want it to be. All right, so we're gonna start out in the storyline view and this sort of gives you the layout of how everything is going to be in your presentation. So first we have the title card. So you can just click on this text and you could change what you want this to be called. So we're going to call it Canode Beach Vacation. And then up here in the corner, you have details. So you can just toggle that down. And you can see, well, we have the text card here. And then we have our background image here. So you could either use what they have preloaded in there, or if you want to change that out, while we have that selector, we're just going to click on the delete and then we can add a background in there. So you can go from my devices, navigate to wherever you have your, your picture saved. Let's say we want that one. Then you just add in your own photo here and then it'll load in there. And then what we can do is we could add a, a focus point so that it'll kind of direct that. Let's say we want to go right into that sunset and have that be the focus point. You can see, depending on the screen size, it'll focus on those different areas as it needs to. Then you can go down to the next section here, and we have another photo. Again, it'll kind of give you some, some details about what is in the photo. And you can add your own information there, or what you could do is add another section. So let's say we want to add an image, and we want to add another image from our own photos. Let's say you got a picture of a jellyfish here. Okay. And you can add captions for the photos or now we have the introduction and we can change the text there and see what, what we want that to say. Then you go to the next section and you can see here, now we have a group of five photos that's added in this section. So we can go through each of those photos and again, change them out, put in your own photos or add more information about them as you need to. And you just kind of work your way through the presentation, adding adding your own photos and text. And so you can see with the template, it makes it really easy to just swap out the images using the kind of template that they've provided to add your own images, add your own text, and really make it personalized to your liking. So once you kind of get all the information added in there that you want, you can go over to the design. And you can see here, now we have our own photo up there. We've got this photo added with our, our jellyfish our text, right? There's the group of photos. So you can see how this sort of lays out in there. And then we want to head over to the side here and go to styles. So you can change the different styles. You could do vertical, which is the one that I like, or you can go horizontal so that it goes from side to side, more like a book sort of format. Or you can do slides, which is more like a PowerPoint sort of 
presentation. I like the vertical format for this. Then you can go to customize and we can change sort of the, the colors, you can change the font. What I like too is you can also just hit this Remix button and it sort of gives you some different options. You know, you switch through there and find something you like, like this, and you go, oh, I like that, but I don't know if I like that color. So maybe I want to switch out the color to more bold red. Maybe that's too much. We can soften that a little bit. So you can really tune, tune that in. Maybe I want to change the font. So I click on the font choices, change that to something like that. And then you can, again, preview it very quickly to see how that style is applied to the whole presentation. And then you can go back to the storyline, make additional edits if you need to. And then once you sort of have everything the way that you want it, you can present this a couple of different ways. You can either click on the play arrow and it'll bring up the presentation just like this so that people can see your screen and you can scroll through this and talk through, hey, this is why we wanna do this. You can see how everything animates in. And this is also a great way to kind of test out and see how your design looks and how the, everything flows together in that sort of presentation. Okay, so that's one option. If you just hit escape, you can get out of there. And then the other option is you click on share and it'll give you a virtual link that now you can either post this on social media accounts or send this directly to your family members that need to see this or your business associates or, or employees or whoever that need to see this presentation and they can access it and scroll through in their own way. So with that, you're up and running, creating your first Sway presentation. I hope you found this video helpful and I'll see you in the next one.